we have the hair expert with us. Yes, Adelicia Petron. Petron, she's here, and it's going to be an amazing talk because, you know, she does my hair. She keeps me fly, and I have a little, some pieces in here. But welcome to the Tim and Breland Thank Show. Thank you for having me. Thank I'm you so, so much. I'm excited to be here. Yes. Well, tell us a little bit about your product, what you know, your hair care, everything. Yes, so... um I'm the founder of Galaxy 5000. We are a hair extension company that specializes in premium quality hair. Um, it's sourced with integrity. Mm -hmm. uh, we source it in the Philippines where we actually uh, purchase it from the women, and it goes to a really good cause. So we try and educate, and we really want to put out a message that you can wear hair extensions and have healthy hair, have mm -hmm. hair that can be very full. It's not just wearing hair extensions to, right. you know, right, look right, beautiful. Right. You can because wear it in it. I had a bad experience, and you know about my bad experience. Yes. I went to get a blowout. You know, I was trying to be, you know, all flowing, fly, and free in the wind, and they put a certain chemical in my hair, sad face, that caused my hair to fall out. And literally, I mean, globs of hair was just coming on. I called Alicia and said, my hair is falling out. She's like, okay, calm down. We're going to fix it. But what happens, you know, what do you have to do when those type of situations happen? Yeah, so the main thing with hair, you want to make sure you moisturize and condition your hair. But a lot of people have issues with heat damage. Okay. Um, and so with heat damage, you yeah, have to you have that smell. Yeah, you have mm. a smell. And then also it changes the texture of your hair. So mm. where your hair could be curly or a thicker texture, it makes it thinner. Right. Dealing with that smell, let's address that because sometimes we have extensions, but it has like this little stench to it. And how do you get that stench? stench out you know I'm telling is, you. can we use your shampoo I mean how do we ugh. this it's not normal usually <laughs> with hair extensions whenever they have a stench that's telling you it's not normal it's not normal um so with that a lot of people try and use some type of uh Febreze or shampoo oh conditioner no I, that, I have used um detergent before <laughs> to put it in because that's what someone told me that it'll get the smell out so but I, it really I doesn't it. it didn't work it doesn't it didn't so work. <laughs> um the main thing is when you have a smell in the hair that's telling you there could be an issue with the hair there could be some type of bacteria or fungus in the hair in the weft and right. the weft is the part that lays directly on your head right which so, causes problem in your own right hair. right so. yeah and that cause sometimes people have scalps and it's and that's, scabs that's and one of the it's just be issues. yeah so you can tell that something's wrong with the hair by the smell by the textures and those type of mm -hmm. things yeah you can actually look at the hair for me because I'm a hair extension expert of mm -hmm. course it's a lot easier but you can look at the hair of course you could touch it but touching the hair doesn't always tell you you how the quality of it is right because a lot of time when it's manufactured it's right iron and then you color chemicals. it and it is a change but listen let's get some questions from the audience let's see what the audience has to say tim you got anybody out there that wants to know about hair care well babe i'm out here in the field collecting data for you girl <laughs> I'm, out, I'm out here in the Thank wilderness you, getting data for you Thank girl you. i got one question right here from this beautiful lady named Brittany. come on Brittany, hey, Brittany. state your name one more time and then give your question i'm Brittany, and i want to know um hair extensions are such an investment we spend so much money on it what are your suggestions to um, maintain the quality of the hair and keep it for you know like this six month span or two year span that they say that it lasts great question yes yeah, so one of the things is with hair extensions you want to make it an investment something that you can keep for a long time so you want to make sure that you're getting a high quality extension that has hair that's full from the weft to the ends. It doesn't have the smell. Um, you're going to be able to get the texture that you like so that you can wear it for a long time. So you may have to make the initial investment, but make sure you're making it with a reliable uh, right. company that you can actually right. keep. Well, and then Galaxy 5000s come with this hanger so you can hang your hair up really cute when it's dry and take care of it. That's that's just an amazing way to keep your hair to last because she teaches me about hair all the I'm texting her constantly, but to, to, and to keep it really to have the knowledge about it because it is expensive to, you know, invest in hair, but you can let it last for a year. All right? <laughs> question from you. Okay, one it is more from this beautiful lady named Miss Darla. Hey Miss Darla. Darla. Hi, I'm Darla. My question is I want to go deep for like 2 seconds. Okay. So, let's talk about underneath the extensions, the braiding. Is should I not should you not use synthetic versus human hair? I mean, I had a bad experience. I uh, had my hair braided with uh, synthetic hair. Oh god, 
have the itching. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, so with that, a lot of people are allergic to synthetic hair. And that becomes an issue when you're using actual hair extensions that have synthetic hair in it as well. So you get the itching where, you know, you start getting the rat tail comb and you get under <laughs> your scalp. But that's not good. So one of the main things is try and use a natural hair or even if you have um, a piece of your actual hair that you can use, take that and try and braid it in because a lot of people are allergic to the synthetic hair where they'll get a lot of itching. Yeah, that which happened to good. me too. I had braids and literally in that day, because ah, oh, yeah. it was making my scalp itch, but just listen to her advice. Ms. Alicia, I have another question for you. <laughs> okay. What if a man comes to you and wants to get some hair extensions? How would you do that? Babe, you're not getting any hair extensions. No hair extensions. I got to keep my... Well, the way that I is a, pray. Man, it's a man weave now. No, so. don't.